This week's JapanCast is brought to you by Site5, offering superior web hosting. Audible at audiblepodcast.com slash japancast. Get your free audiobook today. And the Samui French Toast t-shirt. Go to shop.japancast.net today. Japancast is the number one what, source for Japanese news, culture, customs, and language. This is episode 35. Now, whether you're interested in sumie, sumo, or you just love sweet gut, Japancast <laughs> is your place to go. So you say, Yopparai des? Yopparai? Yeah, what's wrong with that? What did you drink? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Yopparai. I just figure it's a good word for people to learn.、Mm. Suika? Suika. You don't like suika? No. I do not like suika. What's suika? Watermelon. Enjoy the mouth watering taste temptations that await as we sink our teeth into the Sunland Tahanga Watermelon Festival. Before we get into the episode, I thought we could talk about、um, something that comes up on、uh, Facebook a lot. Oh, yeah, because I started posting、uh, kanji lesson. So, yes, make sure you go to facebook.com slash japancast and is it every day you're posting? Yeah, I try、kanji? to post every day. Yes, one kanji a day. Um, so, could you talk about on and kun? On and kun, those are readings. Right. And what does that mean? On and kun readings.、Um, on readings are based on Chinese readings.、Uh, so it's, sometimes it's very similar to、mm-hmm. Chinese readings, sound like Chinese. We borrowed, I guess, that pronunciation from Chinese. So it's not exactly the same, but very similar.、Mm-hmm. And、uh, kun readings are what we came up with. Okay.、Um, so I can kind of tell what it is if I hear the kun reading.、Mm-hmm. It makes sense to me because it's Japanese. So that's on reading, kun reading, because each kanji had multiple readings. Not only one. Some, some kanji might have only one reading, but usually more than one. Would you recommend people to memorize on and kun readings? No, it's not very、uh, efficient to, like, okay. okay, take one kanji and okay, this kanji's own reading is this and kun reading is this. You're not going to be able to memorize 2,000 kanji with on and kun readings. You will never ever be able to do that way, you know, memorize readings that way. So you have to be,、uh, you have to learn、uh, words, like a vocabulary.、Mm-hmm. In context? In context, yep.、Yeah. Uh, that's the best way. So don't worry too much about this, is this own reading or this is, is this kun reading?、Um, no, don't <laughs> worry about own kun readings. Now, we've talked before. About it, but you know, if you look into studies on how Japanese mind works versus Western, when we learn, you can look at kanji, even if, you, even if it's a Chinese kanji and you don't know the reading,、yeah. you can still get an idea of what it's about. Right. Based I on... have no idea how to pronounce、uh, the kanji, but I can kind of guess what it is because kanji, each kanji has usually meaning. So, and that's, that's why we talk about learning things in context,、mm-hmm. learning sentence patterns,、Definitely. not trying to memorize vocabulary, not just trying to memorize a bunch of nouns, memorize a bunch of verbs, me- memorize、mm-hmm. a bunch of adjectives, because it's too hard to construct things. And that's not how Japanese works.、Mm-hmm. It's imagery, it has meaning、right. b- behind it. It's not just pronounced this, this way.、Mm. So. so, all right. Well,、uh, we have some news coming up next, but before we go into news, we want to thank you guys for your donations. Hey! Continuing to keep us going, and we really appreciate that very much. All right, so up next, we have some news from Japan.
So, as always, I love robots. I love news about robots. And Japan is full of robots. Space aliens? <laughs> well, well, just robots. Um, Japan's space agency has announced that um, they're going to send a humanoid robot to the International Space Station in 2013, hmm. and that it will communicate with the ground via Twitter, sending photos, <laughs> not tweets, but photos. Oh, okay. And it's also being sent there to provide the astronauts with comfort and companionship. And uh, Satoshi Sano from the Japanese Space Agency said, uh, we are thinking in terms of a very human-like robot that would have facial expressions and would be able to converse with the astronauts. Oh. Um, but this isn't the first uh, robot that's going to be sent up. Um, NASA is also launching a humanoid robot <laughs> of its own. It's actually going up later this month. But the NASA robot is actually built to assist the astronauts in various operations think that they do on the oh, space okay. station. The Japanese robot, its main task is to be a um, service sector. It's supposed to keep them company. <laughs> okay. So it's very different <laughs> functions. Right. What they're saying with the Japanese one is they want to use this as research for helping elderly in Japan. They want to build robots to take care of Oh, okay, old yeah. Mm -hmm. um, now, unfortunately, I don't have any video of the Japanese Twitter robot, but I do have some cool um, footage of the NASA robot um, going through some trials and tests. So I thought we could take a look at that. Even though it's not Japanese, I love robots. So let's take a look. So that was pretty cool. And um, now, something very awesome. Mm. Naruto. We're going to do some vocabulary from Naruto. Finally. Finally. Hi. But first, we want to thank Site5 uh, for providing us with all of our hosting and bandwidth. You can get a 30-day free trial of Site5. Go to japancast.net, look at the tabs on the top, click on the Site5 tab. If you go to Site5, when you go to checkout, use the code free trial all together, no space, and select a one month contract and you can try it out totally free. And after the month, you can pick any plan you want, even if it's a discount, you know, if they're having a special or whatever, it doesn't count against you that you tried did the free trial. You know, sometimes they'll try to trick you that way. Some places they'll get you on a free trial, but when the free trial is over, you have to pay full price, mm -hmm. even if it's something's on sale. No, you you can still if they're doing running a sale on something, you can still use it. So mm. head on over and check those guys out. So up next we have a uh, vocabulary from Naruto. Hey. Okay, Naruto. Hi. Yatto. Hmm. Yatto. 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 Finally. Finally. At last. We've been asking for it. So we're gonna. Do some vocabulary words from, this is episode 199 of Naruto for you fans out there. Uh, um, so is it just came out. Oh, Yeah, okay. just came out this weekend. I think Very good. Maybe. All right. All right. So, phrases? Mm-hmm. Okay. So, uh, you guys going to watch the clip later. So, but before that, you guys going to hear these phrases. Uh, the first one. あ、はい。頑張れると思います。多分。そう、多分。多分 so, is like um maybe perhaps mm, probably. Probably, yeah. And then 頑張れる many people know this word, right? 頑張る. Yeah, 頑張ります。頑張って. 頑張って, right. So this comes from 頑張る, the dictionary form 頑張る. Uh means to persist or mm. to keep at it. Mm -hmm. uh, to try hard. Mm -hmm. Do your best. Mm -hmm. Do your best. Hang in there. Yep. Yeah. Um, so, 頑張れる 
と思います。と思います。means I think that. そう、頑張れると思います。means I think I can do it. <laughs> I think. It's very unsure. Right. And then he said, たぶん。So, probably, maybe. Okay. はい。And then、uh, the next one. なんて優しい方なんだ。Uh, yasashi. It's kind or、right. nice. Right, describing a person. Yasashi. That's a good word to know.、Mm. If you want to just, talk, if you're talking about somebody else, that's a really good way to compliment. Oh, she's、person. nice.、Yeah. She's kind. Can you use that for a guy? Yasashi, yeah.、Mm-hmm. yeah. Okay. He's really nice. Yasashi. He's nice. So, yasashi kata.、Mm-hmm. Kata is the same as hito. So you can say yasashi hito. A person, it's a kind person, yasashi kata. But kata is honorific. So, hito is just a you know, person、mm-hmm. in general. But if you say kata, it means honorific. So,、okay. a person, but honorific. Alright. The next, so ko wa hai dake de i. So na tekito na kimochi de ittai do suru. So, tekito na.、Mm-hmm. This Ir- is an adjective, na adjective.、Mm-hmm. Uh, irresponsible. Irresponsible. So, basically, tekito na can be replaced、uh, with i k a g e n na. i k a g e n na. Do you know i k a g e n na? No. I thought you knew. No, I don't know. Okay, so i k a g e n na, if you know uh, uh, people. Okay. i k a g e n na, tekito na means irresponsible.、Mm. So, tekito na. Kimochi, you know, kimochi. Right, and this is kimochi and kimochi is one of those ones that's very hard to hear. Really? Kimochi, kimochi is feelings.、Mm-hmm. Kimochi is. If you add e, e means good. Right. So it feels good, kimochi. Right. So let me、Kim's... give you a back rub. Ah, just, so yeah,、ah, kimochi. Kimochi. <laughs> Right. It sounds almost exactly the same unless you really. Because、eh? one's kimochi and one's kimochi. Right? Really? Yeah. It's very it's different. It's very hard. You have to really listen carefully. That's、okay. where we talk about Japanese is very segmented. Each, word, each character is pronounced individually.、Hmm. So,、right. kimochi. Kimochi. And kimochi. E. E. Right. Kimochi. Kimochi. E. Right. So, so, kimochi is self, feelings. Kimochi. 